All right, so we're going to start this by drawing some force diagrams. Um, so in this case, we have a bowling ball. So we usually just start by drawing the bowling ball. Um, pretty simple. And then we want to start going through the forces. Now, the first force you always want to draw, because it's pretty much always present, is the weight. Every object more or less has a weight force pulling it towards the center of the Earth or planet or whatever. And if this has a mass of 5 kilograms, then the weight of the bowling ball on Earth will be 50 newtons. So we can draw that in right away. Uh, in this case, we have one more force. We have air resistance exerting a force of 20 newtons on it. So if the ball is falling, air resistance is going to act in the upward direction, the opposite of the direction it's falling in. So these are the only forces on this bowling ball if it's just falling through the air. Um, so the net force on it would be 30 newtons downward, which will be used later on. Here's another problem. I have a box, so I'll draw the box. It has a mass of 60 kilograms, so the first thing I can do is I can draw the weight, which will be 600 newtons, assuming g equals 10 on Earth. Now this box is sitting on the floor, and the weight is pulling it through the floor, but we know the box doesn't actually go through the floor because the floor is supporting it. So if the box doesn't move vertically, then there must be a force pushing up on the box from the floor, and since it's not moving or accelerating in either direction, that must have a force of 600 newtons. We call this either the normal force, is the technical term for it. Some people might call it a support force. Um, so we'll label that. So the 600 newtons was weight, and that was the normal force. Um, then it is being pushed to the right with a force of 325. So we'll draw that in, 325. Since this is um, the force of it being pushed, we're going to call this the applied force that we're applying to the box. And then friction exerts a force of 170 newtons on it. So if the box is moving to the right, friction is going to act to the left and 170 newtons. Um, that's friction. So this is the force diagram. And then from this, we usually calculate the net force, or the overall force. These cancel each other, so we can more or less ignore them. And then it's just a matter of it's pushed 325 to the right, 170 to the left. You just find the difference between those two, and then that will tell you the net force. So in this case, that is going to be uh, 155 newtons to the right will be the net force. Um, and that's pretty much it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.